planning a trip to Berlin and trying to decide if you should visit the Reichstag? And if so, are you wondering how to get access? Hello, I'm Steve, and in this video, I'm going to show you all of your options to visit the Reichstag in Berlin. Welcome to the Berlin Travel Tips channel, brought to you by the guides at Free Tours by Foot, a walking tour company here in Berlin. On our channel, you will find travel tips, walking tours, live streams, and more. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can learn more about our in-person walking tours. I will also leave a link to the companion blog post to this video in the description below. Now let's dive in. First, let's talk about how to get here. The Reichstag is located in the heart of Berlin, an easy 10 minute walk from the Hauptbahnhof and approximately a five minute walk from the Brandenburg Gate. There are ample public bus and train options in the immediate area, including its own U-Bahn station called the Bundestag, which services the U5, the U5 line. So getting here is not a problem. And all of the hop-on, hop-off buses also stop here. The Reichstag building houses the German Bundestag, the federal parliament of the German Republic. The building was originally opened in 1894, just after German unification, to house the Reichstag, but today is known as the Bundestag. It housed the German parliament until 1933, when a fire gutted most of the building. It was also severely damaged in the Second World War. Following the reunification of Germany, the Reichstag building was renovated under the leadership of British architect Sir Norman Foster. His glass dome, which affords a 360 degree view of the city, as well as a unique bird's eye view to the plenary chamber down below, is the biggest draw for visitors. As I previously mentioned, the dome, along with the rooftop terrace, are the reasons most visitors are drawn to the building. And there are a few ways that you can secure entry to the dome. First and foremost, pay a visit to the Bundestag's website. There you can make an advanced reservation. Reservations for the terrace and dome are free and time slots are every 15 minutes from 8 o'clock in the morning until 9.30 at night. You can request up to three dates and times. Priority will be given to your first choice, and if that's not available, your second and then third choices will be considered. You have to provide the names, the dates of birth, and possibly other identifying information of all people in your party. At the registration and security center, you will need to present a photo identification, which can be a passport, national ID card, a driver's license, or a student ID, among other options. If you are unable to make a booking, either because your request is too short of notice or no space is available, there are alternatives. Last minute tickets may be available at the Visitor Services Center, which is located just to the south of the Reichstag on Schneidermannstrasse. Do note that a minimum of two hours must transpire before you will be able to enter the building, assuming the tickets are available. Likewise, depending on the time of year, there may be long lines that move at a very slow pace, so be sure to get here early in the morning. The visitor center here also has public toilets, cash machines, and a cafe, as well as a beer garden. Another alternative is to make a reservation at Kafer, the restaurant located on the terrace at the top of the Reichstag building. All reservations include access to the dome and terrace, and you can make reservations for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. This is by no means a budget option, as the restaurant is quite expensive, but the food is delicious and it's hard to beat the views of Berlin from here. There are also guided tours and lectures that you could join that include tickets to the dome and terrace following the conclusion of both. You can book guided tours directly from the Bundestag website. They are offered in a number of European languages, with each language offered on certain days and times. The guided tours take you on a walk through the more official sections of the building, including several staterooms, a memorial to members of the Reichstag who were incarcerated and murdered by the Nazi party. And most tours even include a stop at a section of the building with graffiti from Soviet soldiers after its capture, which has been preserved for posterity. The tour also briefly visits the plenary chamber where the public debates of parliament take place. Now the lectures are 45 minute talks which take place from the visitor's gallery in the plenary chamber. Do note that lectures in English only take place on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. and only when the parliament is not in session. During the lectures, you will learn about how the German parliament is made up, how it operates, as well as other interesting facts about this legislative body. And in addition to the official tours and lectures, there are also private tour companies that are authorized to take visitors inside of the Reichstag building. 
Some include tours of inside the building, while others include tours of the government quarter and then drop you off at the security entrance for your self-guided tour inside of the dome. Tickets for some of these tours are as low as $14 per person as of 2022, so it is much cheaper than booking a table at the rooftop restaurant. Do note that most of these tours are in German. Some offer English days, or you might find one that offer an English as an audio tour option. There is a link in the description below with all of these options. Once you pass through security, you will be escorted into the building to take the elevator to the top. You will then have a chance to pick up a GPS-led audio tour, which is available in 11 languages. The audio tour takes roughly 20 minutes to complete, and it will bring you to the very top of the dome and back down. Along the way, you will be treated with spectacular views of Berlin, with your audio tour explaining what you are seeing. And as you go higher and higher, your bird's eye view into the plenary chamber becomes more dramatic. One of the fascinating things that you will learn is how the dome serves its purpose for ventilation of the building, something that becomes evident at the very top of the dome. There are also important plaques on the terrace level that explain important historical moments for the nation as well as the building. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. For more video and content regarding a visit to Berlin, consider subscribing to our channel and checking out our website, www.freetoursbyfoot.com. A link to our site is in the description. Goodbye for now.